Hey there and welcome to another 10 minutes watercolor tutorial. My name is Anna and every week I bring you a new watercolor painting to try. This time we are going to paint some lovely pink cone flowers or echinacea flowers. The list of materials and colors used in this video can be found in the description. So let's start, shall we? I tape my paper to a piece of hardboard. It's not necessary for this particular painting, but I still do it, it's a habit. So uh, it's up to you if you want to do it or not. And now using my pencil, I'm sketching three cone flowers. I start with the center of the flowers, which has a shape of a cone. And then I'm drawing simple flower petals pointing slightly downwards from the center of the flower. And then the stems. And now I'm going to color the sketch. I want the petals to be nice and pink and I don't have this kind of pastel pink color in my set, so I'm going to mix it. Here is my zinc white watercolor and uh, I'm mixing it with carmine red. And this lovely pastel pink color would be perfect first layer for my petals. This is my medium brush size 8 and I'm engaging the whole belly of the brush as I draw these long, narrow petals. No need to overcomplicate it, we want our painting to feel effortless and loose. Just a single long brush stroke for one petal. You can see that the white to carmine ratio changes as I go and it's okay. Different color values give your painting more texture and make it more interesting. In case watercolor flowers is something that interests you, check out my Skillshare classes, I have several of them covering different types of flowers and different techniques. Come have a look, the link is below the video. Now I'm coloring the center of the flower. I am using Naples yellow and I don't mind if there is some accidental color bleeding from the petals. Uh, this is just the first layer and the details we will add later would cover it. And now using green color, I draw the stems and paint several long leaves that have similar shape as the petals, but are bigger.
In the meantime, the petals are dry and ready for some additional texture. Nothing complicated, I just used darker mix of the same carmine red as before, now without the white in it, and to some of the petals I add one more layer of this darker tone, or I just draw a few fine lines to emphasize the shape and depict the slightly uneven surface of the petals. Something similar for the leaves. Using my liner brush I draw long thin lines, those are the center veins of the leaves, and then some smaller ones growing out of the main one. We are almost done now, but the central part of the flower still needs some attention. So I have my liner brush and sepia color and I'm drawing teeny tiny vertical lines in rows. I'm not 100% sure how this part of the flower is called in English, or even in Slovak to be honest, so I'm not going to tell you, but it's just that sharp, firm part of the cone flowers where the seeds are, I suppose. Very good. 
My favorite part now, I always say it's optional and it still stands, but I am going to do it, so I'm loading my brush with watery red color and then beating that color out using another brush. And I'm creating some lovely colorful drops all over the painting for extra texture. And that's it! Let me know how you liked the video, I certainly had fun! See you next week, bye!